Hashtag Ancient America Hashtag Did You Know Thinking Face 1779 History Timeline Joseph Hughes, 1730-1779, signer of the Declaration of Independence Thomas Lynch, Jr., 1749-1779, signer of the Declaration of Independence John Hart, 1711-1779, signer of the Declaration of Independence George Ross, 1730-1779, signer of the Declaration of Independence the war reaches a stalemate in the north. Although the British New York City, it is nearly surrounded by American forces. General Sir Henry Clinton, under orders not to risk a major battle, organizes a number of nuisance raids. On the other hand, Washington cannot dislodge the British without sea power. The French possess the needed sea power, but their fleet always seems to be sailing on some kind of urgent schedule flying between France, the American coast, and the West Indies. In reality, France and Great Britain are at war on a worldwide scale, and the American colonies are only one theater of war. Slowly the British move the war to the southern states, where substantial loyalist sympathy is known to prevail. While British troops and loyalists strike hard in the south, Washington's army in the north deteriorates badly. The winter at Morristown is worse than that at Valley Forge, and a deep gloom prevails throughout the states. Haphazard, ineffective military operations on both sides, often amounting to no more than desultory raids, breed bitterness and hatred but achieve nothing useful. The British Navy supports the land operations by bombarding or burning coastal towns. January 6 Fort Sunbury, Georgia, falls, and Augusta is attacked. January 10. In France, John Paul Jones is presented with a battered old hulk, which he overhauls, refits, and renames the Bonhomme Richard, in honor of Benjamin Franklin. January 29. Augusta, Georgia, is taken by a British force under General Augustine Prevost, who attacks from a base in Florida. February 3rd. Prevost moves on Port Royal, South Carolina, but the defenses of that town hold and the attack is repulsed. February 14th. Colonel Andrew Pickens defeats a loyalist group at Kettle Creek, Georgia, but he fails in his main objective to recapture Augusta. April 1st to 30th. Colonel Evan Shelby destroys a group of Chickamauga settlements in Tennessee in retaliation for raids by the Indians. All raiding in the region thereupon ceases. May 1st. A British attempt to retake Cahokia is repulsed with heavy losses. May 5th. Delaware ratifies the Articles of Confederation. May 10th. A British squadron raids and burns Portmouth and Norfolk, Virginia. May 31st. General Sir Henry Clinton sends a large force up the Hudson River to capture West Point, but it reaches only as far as two unfinished redoubts south of West Point, one of which is Stony Point. July 10. The entire Navy of Massachusetts is destroyed in a mismanaged project to capture a Loyalist base at Costini, in the District of Maine. After failing to take a fort, the American ships allow themselves to be bottled up by a British squadron in the Penobscot River. July 15th. General Anthony Wayne leads a surprise bayonet attack on Stony Point and recaptures the post, making prisoners of the entire garrison. August 14th. Congress issues a peace plan that includes the demand for complete independence, British evacuation of territory of the former colonies, and certain definite boundaries. August 19th. The British are forced out of Paulus Hook their last post in New Jersey. August 29th. Generals John Sullivan and James Clinton defeat the Loyalist commander, Sir John Johnson, and his Indian ally, Joseph Brandt, near Elmira, New York. This victory removes from New York the last organized Loyalist and Indian force. The Battle of the Bonham Richard and the Seraphis. September 1st to 15th. 
General Sullivan destroys more than 40 Seneca and Cayuga villages in retaliation for their part in the campaigns of terror against American settlers. September 3 to 28. General Benjamin Lincoln and Count Casimir Pulaski, in cooperation with the French fleet, lay siege to Savannah in a strong but unsuccessful effort to recapture it. Count Pulaski is killed, Admiral Destang is wounded, and casualties to the French and Americans are heavy. September 23rd John Paul Jones, commanding the Bonhomme Richard, encounters the British Serapis, a 44-gun frigate, convoying over 30 merchant ships. Jones attacks the big ship and defeats it, but loses the Bonhomme Richard in the battle. He transfers his crew to the Serapis and sails for France. September 27. John Adams is named by Congress to represent the United States if and when peace negotiations take place. October 11. General Sir Henry Clinton abandons the naval base at Newport, Rhode Island, and prepares to lead a huge expedition to lay siege to Charlestown, Charleston, South Carolina. October 17. Washington returns his army to Morristown, New Jersey, winter quarters, where conditions are worse than in the previous ordeal at Valley Forge. Morale and strength reach an all-time low. Desertions soar and signs of mutiny appear. America hashtag did you know thinking face. 1780 history timeline. American prospects are at their lowest point, with Georgia virtually under British control at the beginning of the year and most of South Carolina soon added. General Sir Henry Clinton personally leads a successful assault on Charlestown, South Carolina. The fall of that city costs the Americans 5,000 men captured, the loss of the South Carolina fleet, plus stores of weapons and supplies. As the British continue to advance, Congress cannot find a competent leader for the Southern Front, supplies are lower than ever, inflation is rampant, and many of the states add to the hardship by withholding food and supplies from troops of other states passing through. General Washington's army cannot move for fear that the British will break out of New York. On the other hand, the Southern loyalists are neither as numerous nor as eager to fight as Clinton supposes them to be. Also, Washington discovers a brilliant leader in Nathaniel Green. Green often loses skirmishes but he wins his campaigns, and he badgers Cornwallis into making some serious tactical errors. By the end of the year American strength and fighting ability have recovered while British control in the South becomes illusory. January 1st. Daring guerrilla warfare continues, especially around Augusta, Georgia, and across the Savannah River in South Carolina. January 28. Fort Nashboro, in 1782 renamed Nashville, is established on the Cumberland River in North Carolina's Trans-Appalachian Territory to help secure the region from Indian attacks. February 1. A huge British fleet, including transport ships, arrives off the Carolina coast in preparation for a planned assault on Charlestown, South Carolina. February 1. New York cedes to Congress all its claims to western lands. March 1. Pennsylvania passes a law providing for the gradual abolition of slavery. April 8. British frigates open the attack on Charlestown by running past the guns of Fort Moultrie, at the entrance to the harbor. April 8. General Washington dispatches Maryland and Delaware troops to the Carolinas. May 6. Fort Moultrie Falls. May 12. General Benjamin Lincoln hands over the city of Charlestown to the British. American losses include Lincoln's garrison of 5,000 men, four naval vessels which constitute most of the South Carolina Navy, plus 300 cannons and stores of military supplies. The loss of Charlestown is a severe blow to American morale, and is followed by a considerable increase in the number of loyalists. May 25. Conditions in Washington's camp at Morristown are so bad as to generate mutiny. The first outbreak occurs when Connecticut regiments parade under arms to demand full rations and immediate payment of salaries. 
The mutiny is quelled by Pennsylvania troops. Two leaders are hanged. May 29th. A Virginia regiment is defeated and destroyed by Banaster Tarleton's British raiders at Waxhaw Creek, South Carolina. June 8th. General Sir Henry Clinton returns to New York from his victory at Charlestown, leaving Lord Charles Cornwallis in charge of the Southern Campaign. June 11th. Massachusetts adopts a constitution. June 22nd. American reinforcements from Washington arrive in the Carolinas, despite hardships partly caused when supplies and food are refused the troops by some states through which they pass. July 11th. A French army of 7,500 arrives at Newport, Rhode Island. General Washington plans to use this army in cooperation with his own to recapture New York City. July 12th. A British fleet arrives at Newport and blockades the French, frustrating Washington's plan to retake New York. August 16th. General Horatio Gates is soundly beaten at the Battle of Camden, South Carolina, by Lord Cornwallis. Only 700 of 3,000 American troops survived the campaign. One of the casualties is a German enthusiast for the American cause, General Baron Johann de Kalb. August 18th. General Thomas Sumter is defeated by Tarleton in a short battle at Fishing Creek, South Carolina. August 25th. Transylvania Seminary is chartered to be established in Kentucky County, Virginia the first institution of higher learning west of the Appalachian Mountains. September 23rd. Major John Andre, an adjutant of General Clinton, is caught by New York militiamen with plans for the fort at West Point in his pockets. September 25th. Benedict Arnold, who has been negotiating with the British for more than a year, flees to British protection when he learns of Andre's capture and the failure of his plan to deliver his command. West Point, to the British. September 30th. Major Andre is executed. Like. Nathan Hale, the American spy whom the British executed in 1776, Andre was caught in civilian clothing, and the Americans refused to treat him as a prisoner of war. October 7th. Appalachian riflemen defeat a loyalist contingent at Kings Mountain, North Carolina killing or capturing everyone in sight. The Loyalists were on their way to support an invasion of North Carolina led by Lord Cornwallis. When Cornwallis hears about King's Mountain, he returns to his base in Camden. December 1st. Congress, having failed three times to pick a winning leader for the Southern Front, allows Washington to choose a successor to Gates, disgraced through his defeat at Camden. Washington selects Nathaniel Green, a brilliant strategist. Green reorganizes his army, dividing it into two columns, one headed by Daniel Morgan and the other by himself. His strategy is to harass Cornwallis and live off the countryside. Char Charlestown, 1780. Related to Charlestown, South Carolina. With a chart of the bars and harbor, map, by R. Cowley. Morris Island. James Island.